Now is it working? I don't know. Okay, let's see if this is working. I apologize for the first go around. We were trying to use a combination of laptop, cell phone, multiple cell phones. We're trying to bring people in, stuff like that. So as soon as we figure out that the audio is much better and that this is working. Much better. Is that much better? Okay, look at this. Oh yeah, look at this. Hold on, let me just fix the microphone up a little bit for Babe. It's trying to fix the mic up a little bit. Okay. What do you think, babe? Okay. Okay, as soon as our friend from Meat and Bone gets here, then uh, I'll come and sit down on the joyous patio furniture behind you. You're going to sit down and watch me cook? Yeah. Do you want me to bring out the burgers? Uh, sure. Okay, I'm going to go get the burgers. Let me just clean off a spot to sit. Boy, that was some technical problems. Here, you want to yeah. throw these up on the wall by your phone? Mm-hmm. Let me, let me show the folks. Well, they're, these are the meat and bone 21 day aged brisket burgers. I'm quite excited for these. We're going to have somebody talk about them right now. I'm going to bring him in. Hopefully the audio quality works great. What's up? Good, sir. Hey, Josh. Hey, babe. Well, How are you guys doing? Yay. Are we getting somewhere now? Yeah. I, I hear you guys perfectly this time. There we go. <laughs> so much better. Okay. Sorry about that. Just need right. those burgers. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh, so my nice. spot, my spot in the whole thing here is uh, I'm just a commentator. I just sit back here and, and hang out. All right. Okay. Sounds like fun. Nice. So <laughs> I'm, I can't read the chat from right there, but I have okay. my phone. Or you have your phone? Yeah. Okay. Babe has her phone. Let me let me have your phone. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, get in the chat and let's say uh, hopefully everybody can hear us okay now. Now we're actually using a real microphone. We're using just the laptop computer. I apologize for the video. The video is a little bit far away probably, but you can see the world's smallest patio, the jealous devil <laughs> patio. Basically. And uh, let me just give a couple shout outs before we introduce our guest here. Let me give a couple shout outs. Who is in the chat? Tyler, Mr. Tux Everett is in here. Let's see who else. Hidden Jackpots. Uh, did I say Kent? Kent is here. Lorena Go Kings Go. Uh, Stephen and Jacqueline are in here, North Texas Barbecue Addicts, uh, Benefit Couple, Janine, Bobby, all kinds of good people are in here. I, I saw CJ in there. Did he come back? I don't know if he made it back or not. Okay. Anyways, okay. So if you guys didn't know, we are in Southern California right now. It's extremely warm currently right now. Especially in front of this. And especially in front of this. I can feel the heat. <laughs> yeah. Babe has that half turned down on low. Low. That app is turned off. Yes. And we have been loving a company out of Florida called Meat and Bone. And you guys have seen, we've done a couple videos already. And the way that we started working with them is we just found them one day and ordered from them and liked it. And then we kept ordering. And then we hit them up on Instagram and we're like, hey, we want to start talking. We really like you guys. We, we weaseled we want to our start... way into a friendship. Yeah, we just kind of <laughs> weaseled our way into a friendship. And so, yeah. So, good sir. All the way from Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to us. Tell us That's about nice. Meat and Bone and tell us about these delicious burgers that Babe's about to season up. That's awesome. Well, uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. I mean, it's uh, we I, we started Meat and Bone. It was my bet my two best friends and I, and it was it was it was funny, right? Because out of Florida, like <laughs> half of people are calls. They're like, "What the hell are you guys doing in Florida?" I'm like, "Well, <laughs> this happened that we live here." Yeah. So we've made we've made it happen. It's been it's been a challenge, but um, right. the, the 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 good thing is it's fun. Uh, yeah. We take a lot of pride in what we do. We it takes us an arm and a leg to get it done. Um, and man, I love it because we we get to share with with people like you guys and everybody that's in this chat. You know, people that really appreciate the good stuff and uh, and we definitely don't let don't let you guys down. So so that's yeah, a, that's a plus. Right? Yeah. Yes. You know, I get a lot of questions about the number one question that we've gotten is like, oh, if they're in Florida, how are they going to get it to you? I'm like, well, we're in Los Angeles. We're about the farthest place away <laughs> from them. Yep. And they make it and they make it work. And we've never yeah. had a problem with anything. We've ordered fish. We've ordered <laughs> chicken. We've ordered beef. And everything's been fan, especially the fish. Oh, yeah. oh boy. We've made <laughs> oh, some. Oh, that. Oh, my gosh. The fish, the tuna is my favorite of anywhere we've ever had. It is incredible. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have a tendency to ruin steakhouses experiences and restaurants. <laughs> so, so that's 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 great, man. I, I I mean out of Florida it's it's not that simple and that easy. Right. Yes, again, uh, 
look, with 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 ship, I think the toughest product that we've shipped is probably the the carpaccios. Yeah. And we've shipped it to Hawaii, man. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. That's a five hour plane ride from us. It takes yeah. five hours to get there from here. Exactly. So that's crazy. Yeah. And like I've told our audience in the past, the quality has always been amazing. And what's good about your company is if you want to spend a little bit of money and maybe get a choice grade or something like that, still amazing. If you want to go crazy and get some crazy Wagyu, like you want to spend some money and have like an experience like you've never had before, also yeah. very, very yeah. doable. So yeah. And, and you gave us a cool code that we've been passing out to people. Cop yeah. and Babe, check out on your website. So I know a couple of people have messaged me and said, we use the code, we're getting our order. Yeah. So. And the name and the logo are just cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people yeah. some people think that we, we are a cabaret sometimes. So that's yeah. not great. Yeah. Well, I love it. So let's see what it says in the chat. Tuna Emperor is here. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, while you guys chat, I'm going to get started. Oh, babe's getting started. I am. I'm Six get Brothers this. Beef Company. What's up, Josh and Babe? We are tuned in. Awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All of you. Uncle Steve's shape is here. One of our favorite, 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 favorite oh, yeah. guys. Just in general, but also his product is amazing. TD's Brew and Barbecue, speaking of which, make it? TD's Brew and Barbecue, Dave, you can hold okay. up what, what these burgers today. All right. So let me tell you how, what the plan is today, what we're thinking. Yeah, you talk. I She's going to season up these uh, burgers that we got from you guys, and we're going to be using TD's, what's the name of it, babe? Carne Sutra. Carne Sutra. Oh. <laughs> right? This is our technology here. <laughs> Wow. So we're going to be okay, using TD's go. Carne Sutra. Okay. I'm and then we're going to finish it off and fry it in. So we're basically, mustard. we're basically doing the burgers seasoned with the Carne Sutra. Then we're going to do the onions on it. Obviously, those are going to caramelize and be delicious. And then Dave's going to put some of that mustard on it, flip it over, and basically fry the burger in TD's mustard with the onions as a mop to mop it up with the brisket burgers and the seasoning. Wow, no. It's looking good. It's looking wow. real good. It's smelling real good. Man, that's, yeah. that looks delicious. So I'm going to start so, with the onions. Yeah. But I just lost my butter. I apologize <laughs> to everybody. Our, the, I mean, we really should bring, I should really bring that camera in closer. This is like an ultra, ultra wide, bring it in? Right, wide angle lens. I don't know. That's all wobbly. So we got the camera sitting on a box of Jealous Devil. <laughs> Sitting on a chair, whatever you think, babe. You gotta look and see what you think. It looks better now. It looks better. You can kind of see what's going on on the griddle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, better angle though. So yeah. I saw that Meat and Bone and Jealous Devil have been talking lately and enjoying each other's company, both fantastic <laughs> companies. Enjoying each other. Yeah, man, it's we actually um, this weekend we had our, our first event because we have we have this this retail boutiques right where people can come. They're they're right now in Florida, but ideally we we want to expand to other states. So we just launched. Uh, we I guess we did a, a get together on Saturday. They came and it, it was a lot of fun. Florida? Yeah, actually, um, Scott, who's their regional sales manager, actually right. is that's in cool. the area. So we like we grilled some picanha. It was awesome. Oh, oh that's our favorite. That's our favorite. And, and you can on the West Coast, like going to the north, the supermarket here, you can't get picanha. Yeah, it's so hard, yeah. right? You get a lot you get, of people. You get tri tip all day long. Tri tip is super easy to get. Yeah, but, but even picanha. Even 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 to butcher it, like uh, I remember when we started sourcing from the from the Midwest, it wasn't that easy. Like getting the the fat cap layer and everything in place. Right. Uh, most of the butchers in the Midwest actually make burgers out of it. So oh, yeah, really? <laughs> it was interesting. Well, no, it's, it's too good. It's too good to. to yeah, make I know, right? Burger. Once once you learn how to do it, it's like it's life changing. Oh, it's so good. Awesome. It's so good. So, babe, you seasoned up one side of the burger. Seasoning up one side, and I'm laying it down on that side, okay? okay. I'm not I don't know if the these. camera can see how thick they are. They're already, and you guys already formed them in the patties. They're super thick, nice patties. They came frozen. They came perfectly packaged. They're thick. Yep. It, they're, listen, they're delicious. They're probably the best. Like, if, 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 if our store was on fire, I'd probably grab that and a bone-in ribeye. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. So, what good. are what are your most popular items that you guys sell? Well, I think I think without a doubt has to be the picanha. A lot of people can't find them, so right. Yeah, we, right. we're the only place on earth where you can find like four different kinds of of, of grading, like different grades from wagyu and also the the right. prime and the choice. So, you know, it's it's great because you're able to like taste different different styles, and and usually picanhas are not that expensive. It's not as expensive as a ribeye. So like if you get a Wagyu one, you know, you can get a two, three, four pound one. And they're usually, man, they're usually pretty good. Like it's it's literally so hard to mess it up. <laughs> Look, yeah. you right. can burn the hell out of it. And right. It still come out amazing. So right. that's sort of the-, the well, We the, love them. We, we, cook them we, we cook them basically the same as we cook a tri-tip. We do a reverse yeah. sear, low and slow until like 115, 120, and then get those the jealous devil ripping hot. And just sear it, let it rest, and we slice it. A lot of people, you know, will slice it into picanha steaks ahead of time. Yeah. We we haven't done that. We just no. leave it as the whole roast, and then, yeah. I mean, if you're able, if you're able to do the, if you're able to do that as a roast, I think it comes out better because you can yeah. trap the juices in, and then the fat, yeah, gives it more flavor. What yeah. do you usually use for fuel, guys? Like, which which product from Jealous Devil do you do you guys like? Well, we have a couple different things. So we have an offset smoker, which I love to run the, the lump. Yeah, I've seen we it have, in the video. We have a Weber kettle with a slow and sear, and I, I prefer the Max briquettes uh, in that. In the okay. pit barrel cooker right here, I've done I've done both, the, the lump and the Max briquettes. It's just whatever I have the m most of for the pit barrel cooker. That The pit barrel cooker works fantastic. If you follow the directions, it works fantastic regardless. That's interesting. So, yeah, when I'm excited. I level and when I when I get it, I these are my two main go tos yeah. with them. We sell a lot of them, so yeah, that's, that's yeah. fun. I mean, and I think uh, I'm really excited for their bincho. Have you seen that they're yeah. coming out with? I I mean, I have a. They sent me a sampler. I haven't been able to use it, but it's it's like like 2,500 degrees or something like that. Right. I right. really want to try it. And they're doing. We don't own a pellet grill, but I saw that they're doing pellets now. Yeah. Um. So. That's really nice. So Beta is the onions caramelizing. She seasoned up the patties. Then she put some of TD's mustard on one side of the patties. She's going to flip it and basically fry the, the brisket burger in TD's mustard and then use those onions to kind of mop up the grease and the extra mustard around it. Wow. Then put a piece of cheese down. Then a little special sauce that she made, which is the usual stuff, you know, the mayo, mustard, relish, all that stuff. We got some nice potato buns here, cheddar, and then I'm going to pig out. <laughs> and it's going to be awesome. Sounds delicious, man. <laughs> so let's see who's in the comments, babe. Okay. Let's see. Leprechaun TV's in the house. Tom's Food Factory. Like I said, Kent's in the house. Alex's in the house. Taylor's in the house. Tuna's in the house. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. We got 20 people in the chat, it looks like, on this phone. I don't know if that's true or not because phones sometimes <laughs> lag. I can't see the computer yeah. from that far. But so let's ask him some questions. What kind of questions do you want to ask him? Let's see what I can come up with. Uh, were you into barbecuing before you got into this? Nope. <laughs> what, what got you guys into this? No, I, I it was it was one of my one of my best friends. Um, we had gone we had I had gone out of Florida for college and like to work, mm -hmm. and then when I got back, it was it was like there's there's really not like we don't get a lot of the stuff that you probably get in California or the Midwest. So I remember he was he was talking about getting some short ribs and having so much so many issues to find them and extremely expensive. So it's sort of like it sort of took off from there. He was like, "Look, I need I need a tech guy, somebody I, I really enjoy drinking and eating like crazy." So he was like, and I, and I was sort of the tech guy with some of the some of the marketing background. So he was like, "Look, I'm gonna work on this business plan and hopefully I can bring you in and, and we'll see how it goes." So worked on the business plan. I you know, put my two cents in there and, and I sort of, uh, we sort of decided to, to launch and we actually launched in a closet. Like, <laughs> wow. talking to someone about it. Like, yeah, so we, we didn't have. When you originally right. launched, was it a hundred percent online only? Yeah. So the idea was always to do it online. Like the boutiques came after. And, um, and so what happened was, you know, I used to go to restaurants and places where I, you know, I would eat really good and fancy meat. Right. But I never had an idea of, you know what made it different or how important was the sourcing and we you know we did such a huge research on on even the altitude where where the where cattle lives and how they live makes a huge difference right. so 
yeah, it went from zero to 100 pretty much. Like, uh, you know, there was a lot of homework to do as far as how we wanted to, you know, to kind of offer our offering and make sure that, you know, we never had to go uh, to, to, to deal with bad quality or, you know, how do, how do we make sure that what we're getting is actually the real stuff? So, right. Right. Yeah, I mean, now I can tell you, I grill pretty much every weekend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really go to restaurants as much. Uh, I've tried a lot of meat, uh, you know, both fancy and not so fancy. Um, and I, and I usually say, say this to everybody, like, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive or, or, or sound fancy for it to be great. Yeah. So, right. You know, I the, do have a couple questions from the chat for you. Okay. But I have a question myself because I've never tried A5. It's very yeah. expensive. Is, is it worth the hype? So, listen. Or maybe once in your life. What, do you, what, are you, what are your thoughts on it? No, no, no. I think everybody and their mother should try it at least once in their lifetime. Now, yeah. when we did, we did a lot of research and we found there's an island in Japan that makes like I think they produce like over 80 or 90% of the of the olives in Japan. So they feed the cattle with, with olives, and it's called the, the olive fed. Uh, there are other programs in the world where you can find it. And it was like, I remember when I tried it, I was like, okay, so we're going to try A5 olive fed. What, what would be the difference? I mean, here I am expecting that this thing is going to taste like olives, right? It didn't, obviously. But, but I think, you know, there are differences when you try different, different you know, Japanese A5 because there's 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 a, a wide um, variety of options. Right. But yes, it, it is it is the closest thing to steak butter I've ever tried in my oh, life. Oh wow! So yeah, I'll try to hook you guys up with some. I think it's it's gonna be interesting to see your reaction. You have to record yourself when you try this. Oh, of course. Oh yeah. That, 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 we, yeah. We've made we almost have 350 videos on our channel, and we've talked about it buying it, but mm -hmm. like even like a New York strip, I think is like. $150 yeah. probably. It's like gonna a, run A5 ribeye is what two two fifty something well, like that. I mean it's, it's very long that like between like 10 and 20 yeah. bucks an ounce. Now mm -hmm. I'll say this guys, like it's it, I wouldn't recommend and, and there's some people that love doing like eating the entire steak. You don't have to. I think it's it's a matter it's it's more of an experience, right? right. So mm -hmm. if you ever go to our website you'll see that we've we have this scale where we talk about why you in different levels according to right. something called the BMS, the beef marlin sport. So the way that sometimes we like to kind of explain this is the higher the score, the more of a melting sensation you get. The lower the score, the more of a beefy taste it is. So, and, and this varies, you know, depending on the cut, but you know, if you if you want to try a ribeye, it's, it's, you know, it's so rich, like, right. the, the, you know, just tasting it. You know, I That's think I we probably wouldn't, I wouldn't, I haven't had, more than three ounces at once. Just, right. So and, that, and that is actually how we felt when we, um, we for Father's Day, she bought me the the, the Wagyu big dino ribs that took oh, 12 man. hours to cook. They're so awesome. It, it's, they were delicious, but I, you could only eat a little bit because it was so rich. I agree. And I mean, it was amazing, but it wasn't like you're like getting down with a, a lot, a lot, a lot of it. Exactly, and and I think and I think that's that's sort of where I I, I feel like at Meet and Bone it's fun, right? Because right. we, we we get to like give options and try it, and, and and sometimes when people call us or they chat with us, we we actually try to be as honest as we can. Uh, right. If you ask me, short reps, I'll stay with our G one certified choice. I yeah. feel it's probably the best um, as far as what I want to what I want to get out of a short rep. But yeah, if you try the Wagyu, it's it's a great experience. I don't know yeah. if I would have that every day, right? But every I, day. Yeah. I would definitely yeah. have the G1 certified for sure. Right. All right, babe. So before I go to the comments, and I have so many comments to read, what is your update on your burger situation right here? Well, it's looking really good. I've got the onions on two of the burgers, and I have cheese on all four of the burgers. We have the kids, so I did not put onions on the children's burgers. Okay. Um, the buns are looking nice and toasty roasty. And we used the oh, TDC wow. and the mustard on all four burgers. I did. Finished. Yeah, I think these are going to be really fantastic. You toasted the buns. I toasted my buns oh, God. to perfection. And a little bit of the um, butter from the onions. Okay, I don't know. So I'm let's really look excited. At some, let's look at some comments here. Let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going through. CJ's classic hot seat question from back in the day. 
Who would be four people that you would put on your Mount Rushmore? <laughs> four important <laughs> people to you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> that's a tough one. Uh, God, I don't know. Um, if you have a wife, I suggest her. I should, I should, right. That was the first one that came into my mind. Um, God, I don't know. That's a, that's such a tough question. That's a good, that's CJ from back when CJ did the hot seat. That was a, that was a question. Dude, okay, come on, give me something easier. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Oh, <laughs> no. What? <laughs> yes. Pineapple's delicious on pizza. Well, I, I agree. I, I, I would have pineapples with everything. I do have my Hawaiian style pizza every now and then. So, <laughs> hell yeah! Man. Very good. Kid, Daddy Dutch barbecue, creamy or chunky peanut butter? What <laughs> are these questions? Creamy. <laughs> 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 By the You're way, trying man, to learn is, your palate. Is it normal Monday with you guys? You're grilling these amazing burgers. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about peanut butter, and we're grilling these amazing burgers. That's awesome. That's funny. Let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, right. Tom's Food Factory says pineapple pizza is prison pizza. Really? <laughs> I do too. All right. Everett Barbecue says that we're looking good in our matching Gels Devil t-shirts. Isn't that fun? Oh. My dream is to just cruise, like go on cruises mm -hmm. and wear matching track suits no, and like geriatric tennis shoes no. and like go walking on the track each day. No, I love matching. I want to see that. I want to see Josh it. on that. Oh, Can you sure. see it? Yeah. <laughs> we we want to move to Florida. Yeah, we, we, love, we, Florida. Love, we love Florida. You guys will have so much fun. We've gone there one time and it was so much fun. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. Uh, we went to uh, Jupiter. Yeah. Jupiter, yeah. Florida, right there outside of, what is it? Outside of um, it's Palm like, Beach. Yeah, that would be north of Palm Beach. Right. Okay. Yeah, we love it. TD's Brew and Barbecue wants to know what's your favorite band, Nickelback or Creed? No, oh boy. <laughs> no. No, Nickelback. Nickelback. <laughs> I'll go Canadian there, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. So, oh, now you're putting a little special sauce now on. I'm gonna put some sauce on here. You're gonna have to. Okay. You're gonna have to hold the. Josh, uh, you should take some pictures of those burgers, man. Like, oh, oh yeah, They're amazing. Oh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta take them with the the bun off, and I gotta take them with the the bun on. That's gonna be my next project Ooh. right now before she. Uh, I just oh my she god, that's on. awesome. It smells fantastic. Let me go show you guys. Hold on. Let me take. Let me take a. Let me take a little picture first, babe. Okay. There we go. Hold on. This is the behind the scenes how it works here. Okay. Okay. We got to get nice and close. Hold on. There we go. I don't know how I can get this thing in my mouth. I don't know. You got to show. You got to show the camera so that everybody can kind of see big. what. Oh my God. Pretty good. That's amazing. Dude, I'm that telling you, you guys, you guys have never let us down yet. Everything that we've ever gotten from you has been amazing. A brisket burger just sounds so awesome. And I was Very I was exciting. reading a little bit more online. You can tell us. So this is a, a grind of brisket, short rib. There's a couple different things in there, correct? Yes. But it's mostly brisket. So the, brisket. the, the idea behind it was um, when we were doing experiments, uh, with a brisket. I mean, you can't dry age a brisket for too long. Right. It becomes um, it becomes extremely tough. Like it, it's like it becomes beef jerky. To be honest. Right. So we found a sweet spot at 21, uh, and then just adding some of the short rib um, and some trimmings, depending on the New York or ribeye. Yeah. Um, this man, you know, you'll see. It's 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 a piece of heaven. Like this is a one burger. Like. I can't live without. And we do have we do have other burgers. We have our own blend of we call it a steakhouse burger. It's right. our own blend. And we also have some Wagyu ones, which which are great. Don't get me wrong, they're amazing. But this is this is just phenomenal. You'll see. Pretty good. But look at that. You made it perfect. Okay, babe, are you ready for a bite? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Here. You can hold this. My hands are a mess. Oh yeah, well, my, I'm, about, I'm about to get a mess. Hang and the on. and the camera's so and the camera's so low. Oh yeah, there's a nice juicy bite for you. There's a nice juicy bite. Okay, yeah. okay the meat and bone brisket burger with TDs, mustard, and seasoning, and onions. cheddar, onions, magic sauce, 
Oh Cheers. Let yeah. me get down on there. Cheers. Thank you for Cheers. coming on with us. Thank Appreciate you. that. Man, I'm going to grab a beer. Do you feel it? There's that a means, hint of that means, Oh, my gosh. Uh. That is really freaking good. Mm -hmm. That mustard? That was a good call, TD. That was a good call. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Okay, these are delicious. I'll be buying a couple more four packs yeah. of these. I mean, <laughs> No. Man, it's amazing how like well, that actually is amazing. Yeah, that is very, very good. It is. It is like it's amazing the response we get from customers. Like whenever someone has those burgers, you can just see how they repeatedly buy like at least oh once God. a month. It's like probably the most repeated item that I think we sell. If people yeah, just literally, perfect. and look, I'm bending. Now. I got to turn the camera up. It literally doesn't taste anything like 80 20 ground beef. It yeah. tastes like. Well above 80, 20 grams. Oh, eight. yeah. Totally different. Yeah, this, this is so different. I agree. Like mm -hmm. Fighting the butter. Mm. Wow. Please. Josh, wow. you devour this thing, man. <laughs> wow. That is good. That is so delicious. Wow. I'm Great so nice job. Guys, Thank you. Mm. All right. Well, I gotta sit back down to my seat so I can see him. Okay. Do you want yeah. me to? You want to keep talking? Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll chat with the folks a couple more do you minutes. Want the other half of your burger. Yeah. I'll have it one second. I okay. don't know if you want to give the the children. Yeah, let me go feed the children while you chat. Yeah. I'll let chat with you for moment. I'll chat with you for a couple more moments. The kids are inside. Like we're like, don't come outside. Let us just go by. <laughs> we're gonna make you the most amazing burger. <laughs> that was very very good. I don't think I've ever had anything like that. No. I know that's exactly that's exactly the the, the the same. When I remember when I tried it for the first time, I was like, "Holy cow, this is so different and good." And what's crazy is they're not It's not anything. It's not like oh, that they were a hundred dollars. They no. were inexpensive. Yeah. Look, the way that I like to kind of describe it is probably the best burger you can get. Like. Just period. Without like, yeah. I don't even think I've been to I've been to a restaurant where I can get somebody like something like that. And they're I think they're like sixteen or seventeen dollars for two pounds. You get the four patties, half a yeah, pound. Yeah, I think it was sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. You got the four patties. They came with with a parchment paper between each one. We had yep. we we didn't have to form them. We didn't have to nothing. Yep. We opened them up. We seasoned them with TD's um, carne sutra. And put them on. That was, that was <laughs> well, I mean, again, I. I it, is, it is very good. <laughs> I, I gotta try this thing. I didn't know about the card and suit. Let's try this thing out. He, I, I talked to him on the phone today, and I was like, "Hey, we got these brisket burgers. You know, brainstorming ideas because everybody can just throw it down on the grill. That's fine." But I'm like, and he's like, "Let me tell you what you need to do. You need to put this specific seasoning on it. You need to do some onions. You need to let the onions soak into it a little bit. Then you need to use my mustard. Put the mustard only on one side. Wow. Flip the burger and then fry the burger in my mustard." He's like, "It's going to be amazing," and and he was absolutely right. That was very very good. Dude, and I'm the meat quality was just wow. I'm looking, I'm looking it up right now. I have the carne sutra open. I, I gotta yeah. try this thing. But yeah. um, but the 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 mustard will definitely be that's a must. I'm a I'm yeah. a big mustard guy, so I would have never I would have never I've never thought of like a mustard thing. And then he said, think about and I don't think you guys have in and out in Florida. I mean, you can still find some. It's 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 yeah. not. But like In and Out has animal style burgers and stuff. He's like, it's kind of, but it's not. I've had a hundred animal style burgers. It's not like that. It, it's way different, but way better. Wow. Way okay. better. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm, I'm I'm gonna pull the trigger on this, on this thing. It's definitely gonna try this. I mean, you need the, the Harney Sutra and that mustard. <laughs> that is a hit and combo, right it's there. Just just the name is awesome. <laughs> let me see let's uh let's look at the chat let's see here we go i'm sorry i missed so much of the chat you guys i'm gonna have to go back in the replay and watch those stuff i was too busy stuffing my face we've been talking about these all day and it, it's only four well it's 4 40 here it's oh, we started this before our technical difficulties we tried yeah. to start at four o'clock because i'm like i'm hungry i really want to i really want to eat these <laughs> Every barbecue said those burgers looked very boss. They were good. Now I want a juicy burger. The secret sauce looked legit. Yeah, babe, I think she just did mayo, mustard, 
relish, sriracha. She did like five, five things, did a mix and then put it in a little, a little tube. But yeah. Oh, hello, Booger. Miss Booger's here. Cypress Blue is here. Hello, hello, hello. Even Frack Daddy Barbecue's here. Appreciate all of you guys. I already said hi to Bobby. Thank you for being here. But wow. That is good. That's going to be, uh, and and we now that, you know, we have this griddle outside, so we do burgers. We never cook burgers in the house because it makes, we have a small house. It makes the oh, house it's, smell. Yeah. It's okay. just better. And they come out better right here. Yeah. But, yeah, we're gonna probably need some more of those burgers, like <laughs> in the very near future. Okay, the kids all just chowed the onion burger. Yeah, yeah. The other I thought they didn't want one with onions. Oh, Olivia is eating it. Yeah, and what they say? That it's phenomenal. Yeah, they're all dying over it. Yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. So our children are happy. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good. thing. Yeah, because very, very they are the pickiest. Yeah, but they love burgers. Very, very good. Happy for them. Oh my gosh, that was so good. We have another half, babe. I know. I'm going to get a bite right now, actually. I see it sitting here calling my name. Getting it get in there. there. A brisket burger. Oh my God. Yeah, awesome. I'm going to have to book some of myself now. No. Oh, they were. I don't have any right now, but I've got it. <laughs> what time is it there right now? What time? Four, five, uh, it's seven, five, seven, seven, five. Yeah, a couple of hours, yeah. All that's left. One single. That's it. Hmm. Kids ate everything while they're in there eating. Let me just okay. show them for the people that just got here. Yeah, this is all that we have left now. Oh gosh, it's so good. One single mission. Oh damn! With the onions, and that that meat was killer. That was so good. That was very awesome, very man. very good. Yay! Well, that was fun. Yeah. That was great. We haven't gone live in so long. I know. I'm glad so I'm glad you. that you were able to jump on with us. Yeah, yeah man. We should do these more often, but I, I, I'm definitely going to prep myself and, like, I don't know, or some sort of burger side, on the side. Just, <laughs> just really, yes. I'm, like, I'm, I'm extremely hungry at this point. <laughs> I'm glad it's, it's close to dinner, so. You're going to need snacks. You're going to need all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah I know. Like, I had a pack of burritos right next to me. I'm not going to eat this crap now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Tom's Food Factory said, I have some 80-20, but it identifies as Wagyu. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You can try. And what's funny is that wasn't, the same. That, that wasn't even Wagyu. Look at this expensive Wagyu. That was brisket, That's short it. rib. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just a delicious combination. Oh just. Do you well, guys come up with that combo or did you, do you have a distributor that you are like, not a distributor, but you mm -hmm. have somebody who does all your stuff? Well, depends. We blend in different places. Um, yeah. so, um, this was a blend that we sort of designed. That uh, is true. And then there's there's a lot of trial and error, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, but yes, the, the 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 goal with the brisket burger was just you know, okay. have you ever had a brisket burger? Like yeah. Now we're now doing some experiments with picanha, for example, like picanha oh. burgers. Oh. Right oh. Now, like we haven't. Yeah, but. But nothing like the brisket burgers. Like yeah. we've never, we haven't. Like you can grind a bunch of things, but nothing, nothing has come close to that. Yeah, so. that is one of the probably the best burger I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. That was and it was made right here. It was made with your loving. You were saying, er, yeah, you were saying earlier that you don't like to go to restaurants anymore, and I have said that so many times. And we go to Las Vegas a lot with cooking with CJ and his wife, and we'll go out to a nice steak dinner that's just phenomenally expensive, and I'm like. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Your guys' is, is way better. Yeah. I think it, it it's just about the timing, right? Like you make yeah. these burgers fairly quickly. There's some dishes that, you know, you, you need to plan. And, and I think like right now, when, whenever I'm out, I, I, I like to look for things that are smoked. <laughs> so I'm yeah. like, okay, I know this thing, this thing took a long time to make. So at least I'm, I'm, yeah. sort, of, I'm sort of going that way. But um, yeah, I, I, again, I, I think, you know, with us, for example, there's there's about 20, 26 different types of ribeyes. So, like, if you're into ribeyes and you really want to make a, you know, sort of like a lineup and, and try different different kinds of ribeyes, um, it, it's fun. I've tried them all. And I think, you know, the, the dry age stuff uh, on the ribeye side, I think it's fen phenomenal. Like, we're, we're dry aging in spirits. So, like, yeah. rum, whiskey, gin, um, and those yeah. things, again, experiments. We were, we were, Kind of boring, bored in and during COVID, and we started doing these experiments, and they're they're amazing. And and I think, you know, where where can you get something like that? And that's where I think that you know, 
it's kind of ruined for me because <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, you know, a chef can make something so beautiful and nice and it can be tasty. But imagine if, you, if you're given the tools, yeah. um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's absolutely it's, true. Yeah. It is. That's awesome. <laughs> well, babe. That's good. Well, babe, awesome. are you done? Yep. That's that it. was great. That was awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You thank guys, meatandbone.com. That's their website. Use our code. Yeah. Call the babe, because then I could bribe him to come back on live with us again. <laughs> <laughs> we we have to have, have you guys in Florida at some point. Come on, uh, yes. we will for sure. Yes. That That'd be, be awesome. We'll do another life for yeah. sure. And then, and then TDs, that stuff. Yeah, so the good. Carne oh Sutra. Carne Sutra. <laughs> oh. That is such a cool with the mustard. Thing. I love it. That's funny. Now I want to do I want to do that Carne Sutra on a flank steak with that mustard. Because oh, I remember wow. growing up, my mom used to do like a Dijon flank steak, like a oh, something. Really? That would be very good too. Yeah. Yeah. Very very good. Yeah. So, anyways, what day is it today? Is it Monday? It's I Monday. think so. I, I think know. it's Monday. I really <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's like a normal Monday for you guys. I'm like yeah. working, and trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna eat for dinner. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate everybody in the chat. It says 25 in the chat. I don't know if that's accurate with the phone, but thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you for all being in the chat. We really appreciate it. All of our channel members that are in the green. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, that was a really good dinner, babe. That was, that really, was really very good. good. Yeah. That was fun, too. It was nice awesome. chatting with you. Yeah. Morning. All right. All right guys. We'll Bye. be messaging you soon. And uh, yep. yeah, we'll keep in touch. And we'll keep in touch. And we'll figure All out right. what the next thing we're going to cook is. Yep. Thanks, yeah. guys. Have a great Monday. Yeah. 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 All right, babe. Josh. Okay. Great seeing you. Have a good one. Have a good See one. See you later. Thank Bye. You. We're back, babe. Okay, babe. We're back full screen. We're back. I got to clean up now. You got to clean up now. You got to hit the in button on the front. I don't have any power is back here, babe. We're okay. You got to say goodbye to the folks. I'm in control, you mean? You're in control. Bye, Bobby. Bye, Bobby. Hey, guys. Bye, Alex. Bye, Mr. Tux. Cypress Blue. Long's Quest. Well, hello, everybody. CJ. I don't know how to do this. Okay. Uh, it's up at the top Have there. a good night, guys. Yeah. Love you all. End. <laughs>